Have you ever thought about the possibility of diving into the distant future? Or take a trip back to any moment in the world history? Now, before you shrug this off as fiction, let me tell you about some real-life happenings that may change your mind. Did you know that scientists are trying to make time travel happen? How exactly, though? In today's video, we will be getting into the reality of time travel to know if this is actually legitimate or if we are busting myths today. Stay tuned to learn about these intriguing events and do not forget to subscribe to our channel first. Everyone has at least once wished to go back in time and fix things, but this seems like something that can only be seen in a movie or a TV show, right? But what if I told you that a time travel machine could potentially be built? Scientists have been tiptoeing around the concept of time travel for quite a while now, and apparently it has been established that all you need is a spaceship that can travel at the same speed as light, if not more. Yes, that's right, you don't need a shady looking phone booth, no broken compass, and no time capsules either. Time travel is about more than just going back in time or traveling to the future there are actually different types of time traveling. One of the most known is when the time traveler goes ahead in the future, but the life he may have left behind keeps moving forward at the same pace. Another one is spontaneously jumping through periods. There are time loops, communicating from the future and slow time travel, but these are primarily fictional concepts. There is also time dilation, which we will discuss further in the video. The concept of time traveling gained popularity after the release of the groundbreaking novel The Time Machine by author H.G. Wells. This book may have been a piece of fiction, but it did not fail to pique the interest of numerous physicists and scientists at that time. As the concept became widespread, more and more people started to be fascinated with it. Not only did this become a fascinating subject to explore, but it also became a full-fledged genre. Although there have been multiple research papers and several movies and books based on it, time travel is still a subject of debate. Let's take a look at some events that evidently prove time travel to be accurate. In 2003, a 44-year-old Andrew Carlson took the stock market by storm when he made almost $400 million within two weeks. Suspected of a scam, he was immediately arrested, and he was revealed to have time-traveled from the year 2256 in the future. Obviously, no one believed him, but the more shocking part was that when he was supposed to be presented in the court, he had disappeared from the face of the earth. The fact that there was no record of a man named Andrew Carlson until a few months before left people even more baffled. In 2018, a man named Noah passed a lie detector test, which he declared to be from 2030 in the future. He claimed that the U.S. President, Donald Trump, would be re-elected and that Bitcoin would be the main currency in the coming future. He also claimed to have a chip implanted in his wrist, which enabled him to travel in a specific time. This was proven through an x-ray. Although it's still unknown what the device was, it still left people in shock. Soon after that, Noah also disappeared mysteriously. One of the most shocking events of time traveling was when, in 1995, an American student, Mike Markham, started to work on a device called Jacob's Ladder. In that device, he noticed that there was an invisible heat signal in the device. In order to test that signal, Mike placed a screw in the device, which disappeared for nanoseconds and appeared to be at a little distance from the device, sort of like time travel. Mike worked on his model for almost two years and came up with a human-sized version of the device. Without any safety measures, Mike tested that machine on himself and apparently that was the last time Mike was seen. However, a few days later, on a radio show called Art Bell Radio Show, a random caller brought attention to a case where an unidentified body was found on a beach in 1930, a body from 65 years ago. What does that have to do with this, right? Well, that body has a cell phone on it, when cell phones weren't even invented at that time. And if that wasn't enough, the height and the body were quite similar to that of Mike's. However, due to the face being damaged, the body wasn't identified. Did that body belong to Mike? 
Did he actually travel back in time? And if not, where did he go? Traveling back to the past is unrealistic, and there is yet to be any scientific testing about it either. Theoretically, going back in time may be possible, but realistically, when we think about traveling to the past, it brings up the idea of paradoxes. Let's assume that a person goes back in time and alters history, but wouldn't that change the entire course of the future? This would disrupt the normal flow of life. This is one of the main reasons why traveling to the past is ruled out to be illogical. However, traveling to the future is considered scientifically possible. However, physicist Ron Mallet decided to manipulate gravity with Einstein's theory of relativity. He came up with a plan to create gravity with concentrated energy like laser light. He decided to build a powerful ring laser that could create immense gravity with its power. But of course, it's easier said than done. According to Mallet, time machines are sort of a portal, so in order for you to travel to the past, there has to be a time machine in the past for you to reach there or to bring you back. Well, that brings everything back to square one. Before Einstein's concept of time dilation, Newton declared that time stays constant regardless of the environment. However, Einstein countered this with a discovery that time is, in fact, not constant, and it flows in accordance with the speed and gravitational force. Upon several research and scientific tests, the idea of time dilation was proved through an experiment in 1971. The Hafeli keating experiment showed two different atomic clocks, one of which was put in an aircraft. The results showed that after the plane came back from the flight, the time on that clock was behind by a few seconds of the other clock. The idea behind this was that time is relative. The time on Earth is becoming slow in relation to the time in space. So, hypothetically speaking, it is scientifically possible to travel in the future if you can build a rocket that can move at the speed of light. All you have to do is remain in such a rocket for a few years, and when you come back to Earth, the time will be thousands of years ahead. So, well, we can say it has been scientifically proven that you can travel to the future, but it is still nearly impossible because no aircraft has been built that can function at such a fast speed. However, speed is not the only factor that affects time. There is also gravitational force, which is directly related to time. Simply speaking, you just have to find an object with a relatively high gravitational force. Let's take a black hole for an example. A black hole is the heaviest object in the universe and has unbelievably high gravitational force. So the more you stay close to a black hole, the faster time goes by on Earth. Of course, no one knows if you will come back alive after waiting close to a black hole. There is another way as well, but technically it's not time travel. NASA is currently working on the development of a stasis chamber where astronauts would be hibernating for a few weeks in a cold environment. The idea behind this was energy conservation in the body and slowing down aging, since the chemical reactions in the body would be slow. So when they wake up, they will be ahead in time at the same age. To some, it may not be considered time traveling, but it is one of the ways to do it. If this sounds unrealistic to you, let's take a look at a case from Japan where a hiker named Mitsutaka Uchikoshi survived 24 days on a mountain hibernating. At that time, he was injured without any food or water. It was considered a miracle that he made a full recovery with no permanent damage to his body. It is thought-provoking that even after years of research, time travel is still a matter of dispute. Even though some things have been scientifically proven, somehow they still have loopholes. Do you think time travel is real, or is it just science and technology playing with our minds? So that was all for today's video. Let's wrap it up, but before that, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. See you!